Good morning. Today we're here at Sam's Club. We're going to go in and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. As soon as we come into Sam's Club here, I did want to point out that they have the Halloween sea salt garden vegetable chips. Somebody asked about this last year um, when we were at Sam's Club, the ghosts and bats. I remember it was $12.98. It is up a couple dollars from last year, but at least I got them in. They do have the on-the-border cantina thin chips that me and Jessica get. However, they are up from $3.98 to $4.34. Same goes for the regular cantina chips there. Those were $3.98 as well, up to $4.34. Going to be looking at some chocolate products today because of the shortage of chocolate that we've been hearing about all over the country. Hershey's came out a few days ago and said that there was going to be a shortage toward Halloween. They've kind of dialed that back some, though, and said it got over-exaggerated. Um, I do see some candies over here, but I did want to point out the uh, Godiva here. Still, still $8.48 for this, and this is a pretty big bag of the Masterpiece chocolate. They do have a lot of the multi-packs here, the Mars chocolate. Mars has been one that's been low in a lot of stores. $16.88 for 145 pieces. Uh, this may be the place to get your Halloween candy because Sam's always deals in bulk or Costco, either one. Uh, they have the Mars Mixed Minis here, 240 count. Uh, you know, a lot to hand out if you get a lot of kids for Halloween. $16.88. And we do have the Hershey's Packs over here. Uh, $16.18 for 56 ounces, 180 pieces. And it does look like Sam's Club is pretty loaded down on candy. Uh, it is $16.88 for 155 count. This has Hershey's, Kit Kats, bunch of Hershey's here. Uh, we don't know what this will look like in a couple months, but if you find a sale, uh, it might not be a bad idea to pick up one or two. Last time we were at Sam's Club, somebody was asking about the 50-count Lay's potato chips that they had gone up in price. They have. Uh, the 50-count was $16.98. Now they are $18.98. Up $2. Um, and I think you said yours was $17.98. So I don't know if it's gone up in your store since then. But $18.98 here, that's pretty expensive. Although my favorite are the Reese eggs. I just don't think the chocolate to peanut butter ratio in the pumpkins is as good. And you guys who watch channel know that I love Reese's. Uh, $24.22 for a 36 pack of these. It's still better than what you're going to pay in the grocery store. But I don't know. Price still seems a little high. I remember we bought this last year. The Oots. Oots. However you like to say it. The Halloween mini cheddar balls. Uh, we pass these out mostly to our nieces and nephews. Uh, they're still the same price, though. $7.48 for the 56 count, so glad to see those didn't go up. Glad to see they have the 48 cups of Pringles. Now, these are very small cups. Um, they're .74 ounces per serving. So, and it, it's $15.28. You know, if we were to compare this to the cans... You know, I feel like it's right about the same price, but you do get a variety here, and it's a quick snack. They stay fresh. You know, if you leave a can open for a week, you know they're gonna they start to go stale in a couple days. I keep the little lip that you open the cans with, and then put the the cover back over on top of that. It helps keep it fresh a little bit, but Pringles do tend to go stale pretty quickly, so I can see why people would like these. Another price increase here on the Cheetos packs, the 50 bags here, $18.48. That is up from $17.48. Seeing a lot of these things go up a dollar. When I was looking at the Cheetos there, I knew, I saw down here that this had gone up too. These were $17.48, up to $18.48. So yeah, these have definitely gone up a dollar too. And the Lay's uh, packs here too. Man, $18.48. I guess they're all up a buck. So I remembered somebody was looking for the little 12-pack of cornbreads here at Sam's. They did not have these here the last time. They are $5.98 for a 12-count. You gotta say, these look pretty good. Muffin Town. We've actually gotten a lot of comments on these in the past, and I've never been able to find them, so glad they got them in. If you want something really good, 
They have these cinnamon rolls, the little mini ones. These are fantastic. They did go up in price, $8.48 now. They were $7.98. Um, they're pretty good. You do get a lot of them here, two, two stacks. Let's see, 4, 8, 12, 16, 32 of them for $8.48. Finding a lot of things here today that people have asked about. Uh, the yeast rolls here, uh, the 24 count, looks like they got these back in, $3.98. That's the same price it was the last time. Wanted to point out that hamburger is actually a little cheaper. Uh, it has been $4.18 a pound for a long time. Now it's dropped down to $3.98. Pretty awesome. Still, all of them are usually right around $19, $20. They come in, usually come in five pound things. You gotta buy a little in bulk, but their hamburger's pretty good. One nice thing of the meat in the tube of the 80-20 here is you can see through it. I think they do this so that people can see through it to show that it is good quality hamburger. Um, also, they have the all natural ground beef. Uh, somebody was asking about this one. Uh, just comes in a one pound, 93%. Uh, I don't see a price. Oh, okay, it's four forty-eight a pound. This is three pounds. Oh, it's three of them. Duh. Okay, so for this whole thing is thirteen forty-four. That don't seem too bad. It is so awesome that this whole time that we have been coming to Sam's Club, they have kept their meat right about the same price. Ten ninety-eight for the uh, USDA choice ribeyes here. Uh, they're usually right about a pound a piece. These are fantastic. $10.98 a pound. It's a pretty good deal. They did have them on sale at Meyer. I that sale's over, though. They were $9.99 a pound, but they didn't look like this. They do have these beautiful-looking T-bones here, too, uh, for $10.98 a pound. Now, these are $7.99 a pound at Meyer right now, but they didn't have many of them. Uh, and I got to say, these look fantastic. We'll have their roast. $4.98 a pound. Boy, these look great. The meat quality here at Sam's Club is always fantastic. Uh, this, These two roasts right here combined is 5.64 pounds, so close to three pounds a piece uh, for $28. $4.98 a pound. I mean, that's a, the best deal that we've seen on sale anywhere else. Regular price is usually $6.99 to $7.99 a pound. Came over here to the side cabinet. Wanted to point out they are loaded down on ribeye right now. Now looks like a good time to come to Sam's Club. Uh, $10.98 a pound. Uh, and they've got the strip steaks over here too for $9.98 a pound. I don't know. We, we have some in the freezer, but I'm pretty tempted. Somebody left a comment the other day that their Sam's Club was out of salmon. Um, we never really have that issue. It always seems like they have some. Uh, you might want to check again because they have the seasoned salmon fillets and the skinless salmon fillets. Five dollars off per package. So that ends uh, September 5th. So you have a little while. Got the cod back in. They were out of this the last time we were here. Okay, so something kind of funny. They have the four, or they have the patties here. Looks like eight patties. Let's see. This is 3.25 pounds for $13.59. Now, these are the 90-10. What we saw back there in the cabinet, the ground five pound packages was 88.12. So, but they don't, they're selling this for the 4.18 a pound. So it's a little more, maybe because they had to do work. I'm not really sure. Still an acceptable price though. Um, let's see, they got the prime rib. Steak burgers here for $5.88 a pound. Never tried these. We've gotten some good comments on them. Uh, it's the prime rib steak burgers. Uh, max 20% fat. So that's good. You're not getting like the 27 to 30% fat. So they look good. They still have their two packs of two and a half pounds each. So these are, you got to buy two packs of them, two and a half pounds each in each pack. So five pounds total of the Genio ground turkey. Uh, it's still $16.98, 93% lean. We get a lot of comments on this. This is the cheapest bang. This is the best bang for your buck you can get. Look at this. They have some chicken wings back in. $2.98 a pound. That's about the cheapest anywhere. I mean, I, it's still expensive if you ask me, but, you know, it's all going up. Look at this, too. Yep, chicken drumsticks, still $0.98 cents a pound. These drumsticks, members mark's really good. Uh, when it comes to chicken, that's usually what we get. Uh, unless we go to Meyer, sometimes we'll get Meyer chicken because Meyer chicken's probably our favorite. 
Uh, they got the thighs here, still 98 cents a pound. They are always pretty low on chicken breasts these days. You know, we saw for like a month, they didn't have any chicken breasts. Couldn't get them. Uh, I'm sure that came due to some other events that were going on. But $2.98 a pound for these huge chicken breasts. I, I gotta tell you, one of my favorite kinds of chicken to use for chicken and dumplings. Okay, so somebody asked about this a little while ago, but I wanted to point out that I did find it. The barbecued baked beans with the beef brisket. 40 ounces is $8.48. I think I was just looking in the wrong area. Um, this is apparently really popular. We've never tried it, but we've gotten a couple comments. One recently, uh, yeah, we might try this here at some point. Bread prices kind of skyrocketing lately. I thought I would point out some of the sales, well, some of the deals they have at a regular price. Two pack of Sarah Lee bread, two twenty six. Now, as we've seen at Kroger, four nineteen for one loaf, four nineteen. So you're basically spending uh, ten cents, basically not even ten cents, seven cents. So you're getting a, a loaf for seven cents. I mean, what a deal! Uh, somebody was talking about some Italian bread. I don't know if it was a brown berry, uh, but they do have the two pack here for four dollars and thirty six cents. So definitely much better deals on bread. The Nature's Own is $4.88 for the two-pack. Uh, these are, uh, we've been seeing sales on these for like $2.99, but still, still saving. Moving over to some of the produce, they have these giant sweet cherries here. Two-pound thing of them for $7.98. That's $3.50 a pound. Does look like they've dropped some of their uh, blueberry prices here. They just have it at a different price because these were $4.48. Now they are $4.26 for the 18 ounce blueberries. Sorry, it was $4.47. Those say $4.26, this price says $4.47. So, I don't really know, they're all the same. So, I don't know. In this case, I would definitely take a picture of that so you can show them the cheaper price. They do sell the Ambrosia apples at Sam's Club, which is hard to find in a lot of stores. It is $6.62 for a four pound bag. But we get comments on these quite often, so I like to point them out when we come to Sam's Club. They have these big, huge Fuji apples here, five pound bag for $6.76. Uh, Fuji apples three pound bag at Meijer is $5.09, so definitely a much better deal on these. We get comments on Cosmic Crisp apples from time to time. It's been harder to find them in uh, regular grocery stores. Uh, Sam's Club seems to always have them four pounds for eight dollars and 98 cents so definitely up uh they were they used to be seven dollars and 98 cents i remember because somebody asked about it a while back but it is up a dollar also five pound bags of the gala apples are six dollars and 86 cents again myers 509 for three pounds so you know yeah i do feel like these are a little pricey for sam's club but everything's going up and you know it's uh I, I do gotta say, they look pretty good. They do have the Zespri Kiwi for three pounds for $6.98, but we've been seeing these for $3.99 for one pound everywhere, so definitely a little bit of a better deal, and the same brand. Definitely noticed a price increase on the 32 ounce Dole Garden Salads. These were $1.78 for the two pound bags, now they're $1.92. Bananas are still $1.58 for three pounds here, but again, I feel like some of these, you really gotta, like, this just does not feel like three pounds. That's the first one I grabbed. This one looks smaller. That is definitely not three pounds. Definitely, this weighs a lot less than this one. So one thing I just noticed, I didn't really know there was too much of a difference, but they have this Zespri here that we just went over, three pounds for $6.98. Two pounds here for $7.48. But it's the Sun Gold, and it says three times the vitamin C, so I don't know. Let me know down in the comments, which one of these do you think is better and does it make a difference? So milk is a little pricier here at Sam's Club than a lot of other stores around us. 2% uh, is $3.16. Uh, whole milk is $3.82. Definitely find this cheaper. The funny thing is, this, this looks like a lot more than a gallon, but it is just one gallon. One thing I wanted to point out here is the premium ivy grapes here. These are fantastic. They're delicious. And it is always three pounds for 518, making them about $1.72 a pound. Um, that's great for a regular price. 
Now we've been seeing grapes on sale at like Kroger and Meyer for 99 cents a pound, which is a great deal. But as soon as those sales are over, it's going to go right back up to 2.49 to 2.99. So regular price, this is a good deal. Well, these little bites sure went up in price. These were 10.78, 10.78 the last time we bought them. 11.62 now, 11 dollars and 62 cents. They do have the wild caught Atlantic cod. Uh, that some people were asking about, $17.98. Looks like they're getting it back in. They also have these cod, uh, these little fillets over here, the beer battered. These are delicious. I love these things. They are $13.98. That is up from $12.98. But I'm telling you, these are fantastic. Wow, the wild caught jumbo snow crab clusters went down here. These were $95. $95, now they're $84.48. All right, good to see something go in the right direction. Still expensive. If you're having trouble finding your Orita Golden Crinkle Fries, they do have the eight pounds of them for $7.98, but somebody was asking about the Waffle Fries members mark. They got the four, pounds, uh, four pound bags back in for $4.98. Got a lot of good comments on this. Well, Jess isn't gonna be happy. The Yoohoo went up. From ten ninety eight to eleven forty eight for the twenty four packs. Now you are limited what you can get of the DiGiorno pizzas, and they do come in three packs. They are thirteen ninety eight. That is up from twelve ninety eight. It's been thirteen ninety eight for a little while though. But we've been getting a lot of comments that DiGiorno pizzas have been very hard to find in some of the stores across the country. So I just wanted to point out that Sam's Club is another option. I mean, this makes it less than five dollars a piece. So. They also have the Jack's Pizza, which we get comments time to time. These are four pizzas. There's no price, though. No, I see the Red Baron here. Uh, no price. So, but they do have them. We have been seeing the Marie Callender's Chicken Pot Pies very low again in the stores. We saw this last year where they were, they were out of them for the longest time. We're starting to see them low again, so they do sell... Now it's just the chicken ones, just the regular run-of-the-mill chicken pot pies, but eight of them for $14.98. That is $1.80 a piece. These in some places are almost to $4 for one. $4 for one. Three, uh, Kroger's was $3.29, and then they went up, I believe they were $3.79. Some places were seeing $3.99. So this is definitely a great deal. So we got a comment from somebody that they were looking for the Members Mark Southern Style Spicy Chicken Sandwiches. Never tried this, um, and actually I haven't seen these here, so they must be getting them back in. They are $21.98, so $22 for a 10 count. Don't know if that's a great deal or not. Um, if you've ever tried these spicy chicken sandwiches, let me know down below. Uh, we have, it's been a little while since that person asked for it, but I just came across and remember. Um, looks good on the picture, <laughs> but pictures can be deceiving. They also have the regular of this too, of the chicken sandwich, southern style, just the chicken sandwich without the spice. So yeah, if you've tried these, let me know which one you like better and if they're worth buying, if it's worth $20, $22. They have a instant savings on spam right now. When's it, how long is the sale? Uh, it says till August 30th, so we got a little while. Um, and this is eight packs. Let's see if these are the 12 ounces though. Yeah, they are the 12 ounce cans. Wow, 12 ounce cans, $16.98. That's down from $21.98. That's a good price. It's not a good price are the six cans of the Chunk Chicken Breast Members Mark. Now it is good, we like it, but it just keeps going up in price. It was $15.98, now it is $18.98. $18.98 for six cans. Ugh, and this stuff keeps rising. So we're always getting a lot of comments on tuna. So I did want to point out they still have the Star Kissed Chunk Light Tuna in water for $10.98. Uh, that makes it less than a dollar a can. It's about as cheap as you're going to get it. I, we haven't seen it for less, less than a dollar in a long time. We got another comment the other day on the Denty Moore Beef Stew. Well, this is six of the 15 ounce cans, so not the smallest can, kind of the medium sized can. Um, six pack for $11.55, that makes them $1.93 a piece, uh, which is a pretty good deal. Well, they still got the Del Monte cans here, the green beans for $7.14. 
That's crazy. That's actually a cheaper price. These had gone up to 748. Now they're down to 714. Now the peas are 768. They've been 768. I wonder if they just didn't put this sticker over here too because those are a little cheaper uh, and it makes them less than a dollar a can. That's why we buy them here. So just glancing over every cereal pack that Sam's Club has, you know, it is so worth it to buy it here now. For 40 ounces of Cocoa Puffs, say 20 ounces a bag, you're going to spend $4.99 maybe per bag. So it's going to be like $10 for this box pretty much anywhere you go. $5.98 here. That's just an example. So... Honey Bunches of Oats is, this is 48 ounces. So if you figure 24 ounces, yeah, right around $5 a box for 24 ounce. Um, Cause the smaller ones are more like 14 to 16 ounces, uh, $7.94. So that's gonna make it right about $4. So you're saving a little bit there. Not too much right on this deal, but a little bit. Okay, so the regular box of Kellogg's Raisin Bran at the grocery store is 16.6 .6 ounces, okay? So, and that is anywhere between $4 and $4.49 now. You get 76 ounces, 76.5 ounces for $8.58. You don't even have to be good at math to figure out that that's an amazing deal. That's why I've been, this is where this is, the secret is out. This is where I've been buying my Raisin Bran. As we know, Aldi's has been out of Raisin Bran and my uh, Kellogg's has been really good. You know, one thing I will say though, it does seem like they've gone a little chintzy on the raisins. Not as many raisins in uh, Kellogg's as there used to be, but still good. You can always add more raisins. Oh yeah, and for all of you guys that drink Ice Mountain Spring Water, which I know there's a lot of you out there, 40 pack for $5.98, $4.99 for 24 of these at Kroger. Now one thing that is a little upsetting, not too much, still an okay deal, Gatorade, the 24 packs of the 20 ounces have gone up from 13 or 1488 to 1668. So it's gone up a couple bucks, but you know, it's still a great deal. Still 69 and a half cents a piece. So when you look at it that way, it's still a good deal. So we had comments that the Quaker Oats, the old fashioned, and the Quick Oats did go up from 1388 to 1488. Well, the Quick Oats did. But ours old fashioned oats here is still at 1288. So I don't know, like if maybe this sticker might be wrong, but I don't know. Sam's Club is usually pretty good with changing the stickers right away. So this is probably the right price. And, and honestly, both of these are a much better deal than what you're gonna get in the stores. Okay, so still good on the Coffee Mate. 698 for that. 699 for one, eh, almost half the size at Kroger. Uh, way better for the same price. Same price. $6.99 at Kroger, $6.98 here, and you get a lot more. Coffee kind of seems like no matter which way you go, it's going to be expensive anywhere now. $21.93 for the 40-ounce ground uh, Pike's Place Starbucks. That's up from $19.98. Um, you know, it just, it just keeps going up. It, it's funny because most of the coffee we have seen jump in $2, like $2 increments. So... I don't know. They do have the Members Mark Donut Shop coffee. It's okay. Uh, $10.86 for 40 ounces. Definitely worth that. Uh, $16.94 for the Cafe Bastello Festival size. That's a good deal. Uh, and $12.58 for what you used to get of the decaf in the regular stores. 28.8 ounces for $12.58. This doesn't seem like that great of a deal, to be honest with you. They have this for $8.49, I think, at Meyer. Uh, $7.99 at Kroger if you take part in the buy three or more, save $2 each. I believe that brings that down to $7.99. You only get 19.2 ounces. But, yeah, you know, you got to do the math on that. But, yeah, that's... Why does that say 33.9 ounce? Did I miss something? Is that No, this says 28.8 ounce. So is that wrong? Is that for a bigger one? Unless they changed it, I don't know, but yeah, see? It says it right here. 33.9 ounce, 12.58. These are 28.8 ounces. Hmm. 
Okay, so they have the 100% Colombian 43.8 ounces for $14.46. They've got the Maxwell House 48 ounces for $9.44. Now that's not bad at all. That's actually a pretty good price. Now this is a giant thing. 45 ounces of Dunkin' Donuts coffee here for $23.68. 30 ounces at Meyer right now for $14.99. So, you know, just can always find sales on coffee. It just depends, you know, if, if you're picky, then it might be a little harder for you. If you're not picky, you're going to always find a good sale on coffee. See, I don't really feel like this is a great deal right here. This is two 10 and a half ounce jars of the Classico, the cheapest one of the instant coffee that Nescafe makes, $16.64. Now we've seen the seven ounce ones for a little over $5. So if you bought three of those, you're going to get more than what is in this, you know, and who knows, prices just keep going up. Um, I think this price actually went up too. It's been a long time since I've checked any of the instant coffee here. Well, uh, the classic roast was $9.98 for the 16 ounce, so that price has not changed. About shop members, Mark, 100 count did go up. These were $26.48 just a little over a month ago. Maybe, maybe a couple months ago. Uh, $29.88 now. And for the Folgers 100 count over here, $45.34. Boy. I'll tell you, coffee is just skyrocketing. Uh, Tim Hortons 100 count, $42.64. This was $37 a couple months ago, a little over $37. I think it was like $37.42 or something. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Starbucks coffee's really gone up. Uh, you know, these were $37.48 like $37 a while back. Now, it's been a while. It's been uh, probably since before summer. They went up to $39, and, and it, was, it was like $39.48 for Dunkin' or Starbucks. And then there would be one on sale. Now, Starbucks was $39.72. Dunkin' was $39. I th believe it was $39.72. Also, it was competing with each other. Now, this is $43 for the Dunkin'. And let's see. I don't see Starbucks. Trying to figure out how much this has gone up in just a couple months here. It's it's ridiculous. Uh, okay, here's the Pike's Place. Now this is $42. Okay, $41.98 for the Pike's Place. So it's a little cheaper. Now we were seeing these go on sale like one week. This one would be like $31 something. And then the next week, Duncan would be $31 something. So, um, you know, we would go back and forth. I'm not overly picky. I like both of them. Uh, 30 or 72 cups for each one so you know that's a good amount you know you're definitely saving money even with the prices being what it is now but not as much as you used to and i don't know if you shop around you may be able to find better deals 100 count of the original donut shop 44.92 these were 37 something as well um, not that long ago not that long ago we're seeing coffee just really shoot up in price here uh, they've got the Mick Cafe for $39.48. This has been this for a while. I did show this the last time I was here, but I wanted to show that paper towels did go up from 18 or to $18.88. These were $15.98 for the longest time. Toilet paper went up to uh it's right around $22. $21.78 though is the price now. It was $19.78. Uh, it's gone up $2. It's been a little while. Uh, it's been probably a little over a month, but it did finally go up. Sam's Club is definitely loaded down on dry dog food. Uh, they've got it all over the place. We were getting some comments that uh, that pet food has been a little low at some of your Sam's Club across the country. Doesn't look too low here, at least for the dry dog food. Look at these bags of Beneful here. This is crazy huge. 48 pounds for $40.68. I don't know too much about the prices and whether these are, I assume it's gone up some. Um, but yeah, I don't know too much about it. They do have the Purina one. Somebody was asking about this one, 44 pounds for 51.48. Yeah, they got the big bags. You can tell it's a popular one though, cause it's pretty low. A lot of canned food here, the Purina one. Uh, it's good to see $38.98 for 24 13 ounce cans. They also have the blue cans here, 12 count. Wow, this stuff's pricey. 
uh, 12 of the 12 and a half ounce cans for $21.98 or $29.98, sorry. $29.98. Uh, the K9 Cuisine, well, these are the Caesar packs. That, yeah, Caesar packs, 40, 40 of them for $32.28. So that makes them way under a dollar a piece. Uh, we've seen these as high as $1.49 at Target. $1.39 pretty much everywhere else. So that's a good deal. Uh, we do get comments from time to time on bird food. Uh, they got the Peddington bird food here for $26.98 for uh, 50 pounds. Okay, so they don't have much cat food at all. They do have a good amount of cat litter. Uh, 52 pounds of cat litter for $11.98. Sounds like a good deal. Uh, they've got these frisky cans here. Now this is 60 of them for about $39.98, so about $40. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's a, that's a good deal on them. But they don't have much. They look like they're pretty wiped out on cat food. Not too surprised considering everywhere else is too. They do have the 32 pound Meow Mix here for $23.78. That's a pretty good deal. That's a great deal. That's a good, good to see they got it, but I mean, that's it. Well guys, that was our trip to Sam's Club today. You know, some strange prices in there with the candy and the coffee. Uh, we're gonna have to go get back to Costco to see some of the price differences in like the candy and coffee. Those were the two things that really stuck out to me today. Coffee seems like it's just getting higher and higher. Uh, I remembered after I left here that the Dunkin' Donuts was also $41.98 for the 72 pods the same as Starbucks. Now it is 42 or 43, about $43 for the Dunkin'. So, you know, we're going to have to check coffee prices and stuff like that. Uh, but it was good to see the meat staying the same price. I was glad to see that. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. With all that being said, I am out and always remember the adventure is out there.